a lot of what we've been told since as far back as we can remember have been lies and we're uncovering the truth the veil is being lifted we're in the energy of the age of Aquarius where God is revealing more truths to us and more and more people are standing up against this system that is clearly anti-God and a lot of us are getting to that space where we're like we're not taking this anymore like we want our world back the way it should be like it's not your time to rule anymore and we're doing everything within our power to overthrow the powers that shouldn't be Hi tribe, welcome back to my channel. It is Taj aka Mataj Massage and this is Mataj Midas Living. This video today is going to be something different. I've not done a video like this before but I've been called to share with you a channeled message that I received quite a while ago now, over a month ago. I've not even read it again. Um, so while I was fasting, which was before my birthday, there was a day where God just revealed a message to me and I was like, okay, grab my notebook, need to write it down. But I never read it at the time. And I was like, I'm sure when it's time for me to read it, Father's gonna tell me when it's time for me to read it and whether I need to share it. So me reading this message and sharing it with you now is kind of going to be like me reading it for the first time as well because I wasn't consciously aware of what I was writing. I was just consciously aware of the fact that I was writing. So this message came through to me while I was doing my five day fast from food and from smoking weed. Just in the week leading up to my birthday, I was guided to do that, to kind of cleanse my energy and step into a new year with refreshed energy to move forward in my, I guess, soul's purpose and soul's journey and all of that good stuff. And now Father's like, it's time to reveal that message. So it's going to be something new for me as well. I've never shared a channeled message before, even though I've received channeled messages from Father in the past, but those have just been personal. But this one, he's been telling me, Taj, you need to share this one. So I'm going to be sharing it. I don't know why I feel a bit nervous because I don't know what to make of it. I don't know what you're going to make of it. But before we get into it, if we vibe, join the tribe and make sure you like and subscribe please hit the notification bell so that you are notified when I post new content. I've got some tarot cards with me as well in case there's any additional information that I need to draw as I'm going through this. Also, as I'm reading off from my notes, if there's any further channeled messages that come through to me in the here and now as I'm reading it, I will share that information with you guys too. I hope you find this useful. I hope you find it enlightening. I feel like I'm in the exact same position as you guys now. Even now, I've only read the title. I've not read anything I've written. And I received this channeled message on the 6th of April, 2021. So six days before my birthday. And the title of it is Jealousy plus Envy equals Murder. So that was something from a video that I'd watched earlier that day from i can't remember who it was now i believe it was kichi taro i think she's a child of god too i think it was one of her videos it was a really interesting video and then a few hours later i was getting ready to go to bed and then all this information just came rushing through me so i wrote it down there's like i don't know how long this video is going to be either there's one two three three and a half sides of A5 paper. So let's get into it. So 
it starts off with don't you know that satan hates you why do you think he rebelled it's because we were and still are god's favorites the anointed ones and those that seek him that satan is a jealous one i used to be your favorite he didn't see that God had the capacity to have many favourites. Satan didn't want to be replaced. He envied our relationship and blessings from the Most High. So before he could be sacked, or at least so he thought, he decided to quit and attempt to do one better. He even made recruitments. You see, he could and still can talk that talk especially when your discernment is lacking and you've lost, sorry, and you're lost in the matrix. You won't see it until it's too late. Satan sealed his future when he turned his back on God. Seems like he has an inferiority complex to me, but who am I to judge? <laughs> that bit made me laugh, that who am I to judge thing, because obviously the ultimate judge is God. I'm pretty sure he was trying to banter there. And <laughs> when you have a personal relationship with God, you actually realise that he has, he has an amazing sense of humour. Like, honestly, some of the things he reveals to me, I will be laughing out loud. But before I go on to the next page, I just wanted to break down some of this. So obviously... God has his angels. Lucifer was a highly revered angel with a high level of spiritual ranking. But then God made humans. And Satan didn't like this because God was fascinated by us. God loves us. And Satan didn't like this. He was like, why are you paying so much attention to them what about me I thought I was your favorite but that's coming from a place of ego a parent has the ability to love all of their children equally but when you're in a place of ego you don't always see that I've even been in a place in the past where I felt like siblings of mine were held in a higher place than myself. But that wasn't the case. That was just my interpretation and me coming from a place of the ego as well. So I just wanted to break that down so you can kind of see where I'm coming from in that. It's so weird reading this, honestly, because I don't remember writing this. Like, I remember writing it, like, the action of me writing it, but I don't remember any of these words that I wrote. It's crazy to see this now. It's crazy. So the part where it says before he could be sacked, or at least so he thought, he's trying to get one over on God or get ahead of God. He thought that because God had his new favourite plaything, it meant that he was going to be discarded, which would never have been the case. Obviously, he was then cast out of heaven, but that's because he disobeyed God. And when he disobeyed God, he didn't leave alone. He made recruitments and swayed some of the angels to take his side. He got in their ears and some of them left with him. And they were cast out of heaven to earth. Definitely an inferiority complex. Definitely is what I'm getting from this. That's crazy. All right, let's do the next page. Remember he hates us, yet you're still out here making deals with him. You can tell who works for him. You'll know them by their fruits. They may talk that talk and may even walk that walk, but the proof is in the pudding made from the fruits they bore. It's very bitter to me. 
in fact it's giving us severe food poisoning all right it's interesting reading that as well so you always know the intentions of people like the true intentions of people by the outcomes of their actions so it, it doesn't matter what people say so for example let's take politicians people are always like oh let's choose this side or let's choose this side because they're saying xyz and they're saying abc but then when it comes to it whoever wins it doesn't really benefit the masses because their intentions aren't pure and the fruits that they bear prove that the proof really is in the pudding all right the next part you only have to look around to see that the poison is setting in but there's still time some of us knew that it was poisoned and so didn't take any while others only took a little before realizing it was poisoned and so we're able to overpower the poison. This part here, what I'm getting through is that this is the journey of life that we're on. None of us are perfect. Even when you have, like myself, always believed in God, there's never been a moment in my life where I haven't believed in the Most High, but I have veered on that journey. I haven't always been on the narrow path. I probably won't always be on the narrow path and will veer from left to right as life goes on. But my intentions always are to stay on that narrow path because I want to do right by our Creator. And sometimes we can dabble in to the wrong things and be deceived by Satan or demons and the negative entities in this world that want to keep us away from God. But God is always there. He is the constant that we can return to when we do stray. All right, the next part. Some are too far gone, I'm afraid. But for the rest of you, us healed and healing ones are coming for you. We found the antidote and it's traveling far and wide. This makes me think of everything that's happened, particularly over the last year or so, probably like a year and a half-ish with everyone, well not everyone, but a lot of people waking up to the fact that a lot of what we've been told since as far back as we can remember have been lies and we're uncovering the truth the veil is being lifted we're in the energy of the age of Aquarius where God is revealing more truths to us and more and more people are standing up against this system that is clearly anti-God and a lot of us are getting to that space where we're like we're not taking this anymore like we want our world back the way it should be like it's not your time to rule anymore and we're doing everything within our power to overthrow the powers that shouldn't be all right the next part says remember that jealousy and envy i was talking about before here's how it works satan was jealous of god's new creation aka humans, particularly his chosen children of Israel. He envied that relationship so much so that he decided to go against his creator and set out to destroy what he perceived to be what was replacing him. He knew this would be the best way to hurt the Most High. He may be bringing you all the best worldly possessions, beauty, riches, etc., but at what cost? He knows you're going to hell when he is finished with you. That was his plan all along. Ultimately, he needs to feed his never-ending craving for human souls to fill the void of his father, who he turned his back on over his selfish emotions. <laughs> After that, it says hella petty. <laughs> I 
don't remember writing this. This is what I mean. God's sense of humour. <gasps> it is petty. When you think about it, he's basically got this vendetta against God when God loved him with all his heart as he loves us all equally all those that were following him and on his path praising him all of that but he thought or should I say Satan thought that we were God's favourites and he didn't favour Lucifer anymore so he decided to pack up and leave basically and then try and compete with God by copying everything but kind of in reverse in the negative in the dark way so remember he can show himself as an angel of light and reel you in and there's a lot of deception in this love and light community there's a lot of ugh, hate and dark in this community and there are a lot of blurred lines in this community. But not everything is as it seems. There's a lot of people in this community that are not of the light. Some knowingly, others unknowingly. And you just have to stay prayed up and use your discernment. Ask God to reveal the truth to you. And you'll be on the right track. Just stay prayed up. Like, every opportunity you get to pray, pray. And there's no right way to pray. You can just talk out loud. You can talk in your head. You can be on your knees. You can be out and about in nature. Wherever you feel comfortable, just say what's in your heart. And God will listen. And he answers as well. But you also have to be open to receiving those answers. Anyways, let me continue. The reason why, oh, this part is actually from the next day. So this is the 7th of April, 2021. I can't remember if it was a case where I was writing the other part before midnight and wrote the next part the following day. I genuinely can't remember, but I've dated it the 7th of April. So it says, the reason why Satan is doing an absolute madness right now is because the true light workers, <laughs> listen to what I just said before about the blurring of the lines and a lot of <sighs> hate and dark in the love and light community. And I've just come to this and I didn't remember what I wrote either. So this just shocks me, gives me goosebumps. Anyways, let me say that sentence again. The reason why Satan is doing an absolute madness right now is because the true light workers are here to break the generational curses. If the curses break, or should I say when the curses break, his regime will no longer take hold because we will be free. And that's why we're fighting for our freedom however it may be manifesting in the 3D matrix. There you go. Let me know if this resonates with you. I definitely believe that there is a lot of darkness in the world in particular right now. Obviously, you can't ignore that stuff and I always do my best to focus on the positive. But at the same time, I'm not an idiot. I can see that there's a lot of evil in the world and it's being pushed at an accelerated rate right now because we are in those end times. And I don't even want to, I don't want to sound all doom and gloom. This is just stating the facts. We are in the end times. A lot of stuff that is in the book of relation, relations, <laughs> revelations is coming to pass now. And it's not just a coincidence. A lot of truths are come into light a lot of darkness is coming to light the veil is being lifted i feel like we're in a place now where this world and the spiritual world are very very close and the veil is very very thin and 
depending on your level of discernment, you can feel the energies of this world and the spiritual world right now. There is a lot going on. And it's weird that I wrote this in April, but it's only coming out as a video in June. But everything happens in divine timing. Reading this now for you guys, it's brand new information to me as well. It's pretty off the cuff, even though I physically wrote it, the messages weren't from me. They were from the Most High and he guided me to share this information with you. Let me know how you feel about this channeled message. If it resonates with anything that you are going through, please let me know in the comments. I would love to hear your interpretation of this or any information that you may have received. Let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Love you guys.